Xin chào. Hello, founders, business leaders, HR heads in Vietnam. Uh, there is one thing I know is keeping all of you awake at night, and that is the issue of people. Well, one vital issue that you are thinking all the time is how do I build capabilities in my people? Not easy. There are some of you who buy competencies. Others think of building one internally. Now that's a good thing to think of. You see, let me ask you four questions. You suffer from a syndrome called 3-50. Some of you even face 2-50. It basically means 50% of your staff leave in three years or in two years. Why train? Second question. Knowing is something different than performance or doing. It is called knowing doing gap. I call it KD gap. How do you ensure that this gap is minimized? And how do you manage that gap? There is a purpose of learning. There is a purpose of training. It is not just knowing more. It is doing more. How do you do it? Third question. Uh, should you train internally or should you be training externally? That's a very important question that all L&D and HR heads worldwide are grappled with. And number four, how do you assess people? How do you know who needs what? And how do you grow them after they have really learned and got trained? Assessment, training and growing people are all interconnected. One block leads to the other block, leads to the third block. So how do you manage it? Uh, I want you to understand uh, L&D or learning and development uh, is not a luxury. It's a necessity. And therefore it is not a matter of choice. It's like food. I also want you to understand that the starting point or what I call as a beginning post on this journey of improvement and enhancement of your capability starts with learning culture, learning strategy. What is your learning culture and what is your learning strategy? Also, I want you to understand that each one of your companies is a different company. It has a different company personality and therefore learning and development has to be customized. Um, what is the framework of L&D which is unique to you? Otherwise, a lot of your money will be wasted. And number four, as we have industry 4.0 now, where the entire business globally is transforming. Similarly, we have what is called learning 4.0. This is a new paradigm of how learning of an organization improves. And it is under this uh, framework, we talk of micro learning. We talk of learning management systems, we talk of personalized learning, and we talk of what is called learning journey. Uh, and then only we'll be able to connect assessing people, making them capable, and advancing them or growing them really a seamless connection. Now, what to do and what are the tools and how can we build all this is very important for you to learn and understand and practice. I'm holding a workshop uh, and I would like to invite you to join where you will learn all of it. I've done that for the last 32, 33 years in all global fortune 500 companies for the last 33 years. And I'll be happy to share some of those learnings with you. Come over. I look forward. See you.